Now to the latest developments on the arrest of a convicted sex offender living in Providence. As we've been reporting, there's been public outcry ever since Richard Gardner moved to a Washington Park neighborhood. And tonight, a temporary sigh of relief from nurse because he's back behind bars for now. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from Cranston with more. Steph. Well, the new charges against Richard Gardner are fairly minor misdemeanors for allegedly writing the wrong address on his marriage license application. But the convicted child molester promised to keep the peace and be of good behavior as a condition of his probation. So now he is behind bars at the ACI. Child molester Richard Gardner lasted three weeks as a free man before he was arrested in the Washington Park neighborhood in Providence where he's been living with his new wife. Arrested Friday afternoon by the Cranston police on charges of filing false documents with that city. Richard Gardner. He was quickly sent to the ACI as an alleged probation violator. Mr. Gardner has a history of getting out of jail and not following the rules. It's not the first time. Cranston Police Chief Colonel Michael Winquist says the day after Gardner was released from prison on October 12th, he and his fiance filed for a marriage license at Cranston City Hall. But he put down his mother's address in Weymouth, not the Providence address he had just used to register as a sex offender with the Providence PD hours earlier. Police were keeping a close eye on Gardner because of his horrific past crimes and weren't going to let this one slide. And let's face it. Um, if he crosses the line, there's going to be no leeway for Mr. Gardner. Whether he's jaywalking, filing a false document, it doesn't matter to us. We feel that he should be behind bars. He committed a misdemeanor in our city that we're alleging, and that's why we followed through on this complaint. Neighbors in Washington Park protested when Gardner moved into the neighborhood, trying to get him to leave. Providence PD has been paying officers overtime to tail him. Some of those neighbors watching as he was cuffed and taken away. And there was a loud uh, round of applause and, and cheering that Mr. Gardner was taken out of that neighborhood. And like I said, I believe they can rest easier tonight knowing Mr. Gardner is not a threat to their community. And Gardner was arraigned on those two misdemeanor charges here at the Cranston PD. His bail was set to $1,000, but he was sent to the ACI for the weekend because of the probation violation. He'll appear in court on Monday. Now, Gardner still has 20 years left on his probation, so the question now is whether a judge will send him to prison to serve some or all of that remaining sentence. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.